Hey there, Popper fans, Bryant Cook, and today we're playing Turbo Initiative, the hottest deck in the format right now. It actually took first place in both of the challenges over the weekend. That said, it wasn't actually the best performing deck. That would have been Affinity. And it leaves people wondering, should this deck be banned? Well, if it's going to be banned soon, I at least want to play it. It is a combo deck. Even though it's a combo deck that accelerates into creatures, it's still very much a combo deck. You have cards like Dark Ritual, which I'll zoom in on right now, Simeon Spirit Guide, Lotus Petal. You're even playing the combo lands like Peat Bog and Surprise and Scary. And then you're playing Snap to untap these two broken lands. So you're definitely a combo deck. It's just that your payoff is giant dumb creatures that create a, an advantage. So that's what we're looking to do today. If you're unfamiliar with the initiative, whew, there's a, a load of text to it. So you're going to have to stick around and watch the video to make sure you see all of it. But it's essentially a unique dungeon that you get to go into. And then you choose two different paths that create either a tempo advantage or card advantage. And then from there, you end up in the same location at the end. That's the TLDR, but if you stick around and watch the video, you'll see more about the initiative. So that's what we're doing today. Should this deck be banned? Honestly, I discussed it on the Eternal Glory podcast last week or the week before, and I thought no. I thought there was no way that this deck should be banned. It's essentially just a more aggressive version of the Monarch. And then since then, people have created this turbo version that I am presenting to you today. And I think that this deck actually pushes the limit a little bit more than Monarch does, where previously I felt like it was behind Monarch. And now I think that it might be more pushed than Monarch. So I think the turbo builds are really what changed the game here. Should it be banned? I don't really have strong opinions. I think that it might actually be fine, especially if Affinity is the line and this deck isn't outperforming Affinity, at least not yet. So... Maybe we'll crush today, maybe we won't. I also think that you need to give time for people to adapt. There's people out there like Alex Ullman who creates wonderful popper content, and Alex has been working on decks that beat this deck. For example, unblockable creatures for one mana that can't be killed by snuff out. I'm talking about Changeling Outcasts, for example, it actually just wrecks this deck. And today I'm playing cards like Snap because they actually answer Changeling Outcast while making mana on tempo. So that way you can deploy your initiative creature on curve. So there's some back and forth that still needs to happen. The format needs to adapt to initiative and then the initiative deck needs to adapt to how the format's trying to beat it. And we haven't gotten to that level of the format yet. And I think that's going to be uniquely interesting. A lot of people just don't like things because they're new and they're broken, and I completely get that. Change is scary, but I think you should at least do your due diligence to make sure that it's actually across the line. That's really my two cents. That's what I'm going to stick with, at least for now. My opinion could always change. I am a person, you know, whose opinions, you know, they're, they're not always firm. But that's enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know what you think. Should it be banned in the comments? Put those down below. Let's hop on into match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsperm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round with Turbo Initiative. We're on the draw and I've opened up sort of a hand that I would consider to be a clunker. We're going to ship this. Looking for something much faster. Here we have two fast mana sources, but no land drop. I think that we can do better than this. I'm actually just going to go to five. This is a turn two initiative creature, so we will keep this. Bottom, the sneak, and a swamp. This is actually a much better hand than either of the first two hands we saw here. Basic forest into Findhorn Elves. So Elves is a deck that can go wide, which is scary for this deck, because any deck that can go wide can easily steal the initiative. Which is why in the sideboard you'll see that there's a board wipe, but also four copies of Gutshot. Opponent plays a Birch Lore Rangers. You've got it. Tapping the Findhorn Elves for a mana. They play a Sentinel. So now they can tap the Rangers if they so choose. Apparently they do not. 
another battle rager. Okay, let's pitch the spirit guide. Play the battle rager. So when this enters the battlefield, I will gain control of the initiative and I get to search my library. The first uh, part of the initiative, the secret entrance, I search my deck for a basic, put it to my hand. We're going to grab another copy of Swamp. Pass the turn. So I have to imagine that they're going to swing in here looking to steal the initiative. Let's block the Birch Lore. So now they've taken the initiative from me. How rude. So now they get to search their library for a forest and put it to their hand. Elvish Vanguard, you've got it. Okay. Dark Ritual is amazing here because now I get to play the Underdark Explorer. Dark Ritual, play the island. We're going to lose the peat bog here. Underdark Explorer. Maybe I should have attacked first, I'm not sure. I want the forge, I believe. Put it on the explorer because it has menace. And I believe I just want to pass the turn here. I don't think I'm supposed to attack. Hmm. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to attack first. Sorry, I, this is my first time playing the deck. I'm trying to. Does the initiative trigger whenever it deals damage? I believe the answer is yes. I'm learning here. Maybe I'm wrong. Do I get to go further? No. So I was not supposed to attack. Oh well. I'm learning like I mentioned. Yeah, I definitely messed up that turn. Distant Melody. That's interesting. They were not trying to steal the initiative. And they did not hit a land. Wow. So now we get to go into trap, which makes them lose five life. So we'll choose trap. And now they lose five. Going to 14. We'll draw for turn. Ooh, wow. I actually hit it. So go target creature. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I'm going to type in a Google right now. MTG goad. Okay, so here's take the crown that forces creatures to attack, preferably someone other than you. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to always make a treasure here? I have no idea. All right, let's play the Battle Rager. Venturing slightly deeper into the Undercity. Guess I draw a card? I thought I got to choose. Oh no, that's the middle one, maybe. My bad. I spent a whole lot of time looking up something that did not matter. And now they'll take 8 down to 6 life. Pass the turn. See, you can be an idiot like me and still win with this deck. That's how good it is. Birchlore Rangers, you've got it. Fendhorn Elves. And they're attacking. Let's block the Elvish Vanguard. We'll take one and they'll steal the initiative. So now they can put two plus one plus one creature counters on a creature. And they choose the Sentinel. We draw, ponder, we found snap, but I can't play it quite yet. Definitely interested in the snap though. Swing, swing. They have to put two on the other city explorer because of the keyword menace. So they'll take two here going to four and I will steal the initiative back. 
And now we are going to the final room of initiative. We're looking at the top 10 and putting a creature to our hand. So we get the sneak. I enter the battlefield. So now I can steal. Or no. I get to go back into the Undercity. So I get a basic island here. Right? This is so good because now I can play the snap. Oh, that's nuts. Okay, that was actually really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. That, that was actually kind of nutty. Um, yeah, I think we just pass here. Definitely in a good spot. Well, wisher, sure thing. Another sentinel. I mean, I don't know how they're going to deal with my sneak. It's just four damage in the air and they're at four. They're going to attempt to move to combat, I believe. No. Let's bounce your Elvish Vanguard. Untap, untap. Oh, this thing has reach. That's how they're planning on staying alive. Okay. Forge. Put it on this creature. Okay, and they concede. We've taken game number one over elves. Heck yeah. So now we're definitely interested in gut shot. It's just really getting against decks that try to go wide. We also want this Arms of Hadar, another card from Boulder's Gate. So it's pretty simple. Four mana, creatures, tire player controls get minus two, minus two. I don't believe we want any of these additional effects. We're at 66 cards right now. There's a bunch of lists out there that don't play Ponder or Preordain, so I think we can probably just afford to take the quality cards out of our deck and just say, hey, we're a turbo deck. We just want a bunch of removal, and we're going to get you. So I think that's what we're going to try to do here in game number two. This is a turn th two sneak. Yeah, I think we keep this. Forest, Birch, Ouch, Draw, Play the Scary, Pass the Turn, Forest, Into Priest, Yeah, Draw, Swamp, Lotus Petal, Have this for Blue, Play the sneak. Triggers. Let's go into the Undercity and I will get a basic island. Unfortunately for the opponent, I do have a snuff out. Pass the turn. Lead the Stampede. They pick up four cards here. They're all pretty good. We venture deeper into the Undercity. We will forge. Put some creatures, or counters on our creature. Draw. Another copy of Snuff Out. Certainly welcome. Get in there. hi -ya. I'm an aggro deck. You can see why the, I said this deck plays like a combo deck. You're just able to make so much mana and apply pressure like a combo deck. Like, you're just... It honestly feels a little bit like uh, Alpha Beta, in my opinion. So, the reason that I say that is... You're... Accelerating, you're using Dark Ritual, and instead of getting Sengi or Vampire, you're getting a creature that with initiative. Um, it's not exactly one for one, but I hope you know what I mean. Like, it has that sort of old school feel to it. Where you're not necessarily putting, like, a broken enchantment or putting Tendrils of Agony on the stack. Like, your payoff is a powerful creature, and that feels very early magic to me, despite the initiative obviously not being an alpha beta mechanic. Alright, the initiative, we're going to make them lose 5 life here trap and they go to 12 draw play the bog hiya pass the turn they're going to steal the initiative from me they get to go into the undercity and get a basic forest well i guess they could choose any basic they want but likely a forest they could get an island they do select a forest, though. 
Vanguard, Sentinel. Come on, no more creatures, no more creatures. Boo! I wanted to wipe their entire board with this, but they get to keep a 3-3 three, three here. Okay, we'll draw. Dark Ritual. Let's attack and get the initiative back. Well, I guess they have this creature. Maybe I messed up by not playing arms first. That was probably a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. I forgot that this thing has reach. It was just very silly. Big punt. That might have actually just cost me this game. Play the peep bog. Pass the turn. So now they get to venture deeper into the Undercity and they can put two plus one plus one counters on uh, creatures. They choose Birch Lore. I could have played the arms here, but I know that they have this. I don't know if that matters or not, but I feel like there was a chance they just put all the counters on the Vanguard. You have a Huntmaster. I could really use a snap right now. Yep. Creature's getting large. I'm at 13. Am I actually just dead here? No, I would be dead if they got the initiative back next turn. So I feel like I I played myself out of this game by missing the arms before I attacked with the Sentinel. I saw that it had reach last game and I still just played terribly. Winding way. So I'll take six here. I go to seven. Draw. Another sneak. Play my land. Let's attack and get the initiative back. Hiya. So I get to draw a card here. I hit the snuff out. Wow. Okay. There's a chance. Play the arms. Dark ritual. Sneak. Triggers. We venture to the Throne of the Dead 3. This will now trigger. We get a creature from the top 10. We'll get another Battle Rager. So now we go back into the Undercity and we get a basic. Pass the turn. Another copy of Lead the Stampede. Hmm. Kill the Vanguard. I could kill the Huntmaster here. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. They also failed to tap for an extra mana there. I don't know if it went on to mattering or not, but they did not tap their Vanguard for mana. I've definitely made a couple mistakes this league. First time playing the deck, or this match playing the deck. They play Quirion Ranger. Now they go up to 8 life. Another Elvish Vanguard. Okay, so now they go up to 10. Are they going to come back? Uh, oh, they're doing it. This is the creature they needed to block. They might have stabilized unless I get a good draw here. So they're at a... Uh, I'm sorry, they're going to go to 12. So they can let this through now. And I can only deal 10 damage. Yeah, they've stabilized. Unless I rip another arms off the top or snap. What does Lost Well do? Scry 2. Is Scry 2 better than 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters at this point? I think it might be. Well, it's Lost Well. Scry 2, looking for another arms here. Is snap good enough? I think it might be. Take a draw. Ooh, actually, I can't get to trap now to make them lose five life. Hmm. It might not have been good enough.
the essence worm may have gotten me here. So I can attack for eight. It's just not lethal. All right, we're going to do the only thing I pretty much can do here, which is just swing out. They let all the damage through as they should. They go to... F yeah, I messed this up. Because if I had just taken the draw, there's a 50-50 shot we hit snap. I snap my own creature in a trap and win. Or just draw into another initiative creature. So I played myself out of this game, I think. And tap and tap. And I can't go into trap here because I went down lost well. Alright, well I learned a lesson this game. I just don't think it matters. Pass the turn. You have a Timberwatch Elf. Doesn't really matter, but okay. Priest of Titania, sure thing. Our opponent is going to combat. Oh, I just realized it says Pioneer League. I should fix that. We're in a Pauper League, not Pioneer. Sorry about that. And uh, I am super dead here. They're both P formats. They're pretty much the same, right? Pauper, Pioneer, same card pool, right? They're totally the same. I think that we just resubmit and try to uh, play a little bit better. I think I might have lost that one for myself. I wonder if like we don't actually want Grimags here. Like, should I just have four Preordain in my deck instead? That might be a truth. It doesn't have Trample or anything. Like, it doesn't actually do a whole lot. Game three on the play. This is a, a pretty good hand. We have turn two Battle Rager. We have gut shots to follow it up with. I love it. Play the scary past the turn. We actually need our opponent to play one drop creature for us. And they do. Thank you. Draw. Play the bog. Snap your creature. On tap or two lands. Tap them. Battle Rager. We have the initiative. Grab Island. Pass the turn. Query and Ranger. Sure. I'm going to gut shot this now. Just because I can. I'd love to draw a snuff out here. We venture further into the Undercity. Our creature gets larger. Draw. Seeming Spirit Guide. Show them the island. And let's get in there. Am I supposed to just wait... No, I don't think so. Let's just attack. Really wish I could hard cast my Simian Spear Guide here. Clearly our deck needs one mountain in it. They attack with the Sentinel. They have stolen the initiative. They play another copy of Quarian Ranger. Untapping the Sentinel. Two mana. That's a Priest. I'm going to kill the Priest now. I just don't want them untapping it. And then like untapping this and maybe having a counter spell or something. Well, that was good. Had I known I was going to draw that, I would not have killed the priest. But I was afraid of them like having a dispel or something, or a spell pierce. Trap, you're at nine. Pass the turn. 
Another Priest of Titania. We venture deeper into the Undercity. Another initiative creature. I cannot play it this turn, though, unfortunately. Let's get in there, put them to six life. Pass. Really? Your plan is to steal the Undercity back? Okay. A little surprised by that. I was actually really nervous about the Priest untapping. But, like, the two 1 1 counters here, I don't care about. Korean Ranger. Okay, so they had to wait to untap the Priest, so that makes more sense now. Sure thing. So we know that they have at least one forest in hand with five cards. Well, Wisher, that's a way for them to stabilize. Could you really use another removal spell, even though I've been recklessly burning them? Timber Watch, that's scary. Draw. So now we attack. And if they block, they go to one. Uh, yeah, so I imagine they just take three here. We use the Undercity again. Let's get an Underdark Explorer. We take the initiative. We use this again. We'll grab another Swamp. Play land for turn. Venture deeper into the Undercity again. We'll forge, put the counters on this creature, I believe. Pass. So they have to steal the Undercity from me right now or else they're dead. Because the trap would kill them. I guess they have a Well-Wisher. Okay, that's not, that's not a true statement. Because the Well-Wisher can keep them alive from trap. Tapping for five mana. I believe they still have one forest in hand, so they have two real cards they could play here. Lead the Stampede. Well, that's certainly a good one. Another Timberwatch, Findhorn, and Birchlore. Did I mess up? I guess I might have messed up. Maybe I should have gotten the Sneak instead of the second Underdark Explorer. Well, I, they have a Wellwisher, so being in the air, I don't know how much that actually matters. It might not be a mistake. They untap, okay. They play a forest. Yeah, so your last other live card in hand was a hunt master. That's insane. I might actually lose this now. Holy moly. Yep. I don't think I can win this. They're going to play another Timber Watch here. Yep. And they can use Korean Ranger Wellwisher next turn to gain 24 life. Yeah, I've lost. Wow, they came back. That gut shot play might have cost me game three. So I will say this. While my deck is super powerful, as someone who's new playing the deck, it wasn't a free win to face elves. So that means that there's some play to the format despite this deck being really good. My opponent outplayed me here. It's hard to argue otherwise. They're attacking, huh? Um, so if I don't block, I go to one. And they can pump anyway, so I don't think it actually matters. No blocks. They can't untap the Timberwatch twice because they've already used the Birch Lord or the Aquarian Ranger this turn. And them stealing the initiative doesn't actually matter. So I thought it would because of the trap. Oh, well, I guess I'm just dead to this Undercity. Uh, did not put that into my calculations. So it didn't matter because in my upkeep, they could gain 12 life and the trap would not have killed them. That's a bummer. So my opponent outplayed me. It happened. I will say there is at least play to this matchup. I definitely did not play perfectly, but uh, I don't know. It didn't feel like my opponent was ever completely out of it.
Let's see how the other four matches go. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the draw. I've opened up a hand that doesn't really get to play the magic we want to play, so we're going to ship it. Here, I only have two mana. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to keep this against better judgment because snap is so good in the mirror. And I feel like our opponent's like someone that just plays the best deck all the time. I guess I'm wrong. Very seer. Come on, give me a depletion land, please. Another snap. That's a bummer. Play Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Fairy Seer coming in hot. Ouch. Draw. Pass the turn. Did not draw a depletion land. 18. There we go. Pass. Nujitsu. I'm going to snuff that out. Another fairy seer, sure thing. Draw. So this is... I'm wondering if I can actually play the Battle Rager this turn. So I would snap this... Untap these. Tap this again for mana. So that's three, four cards in Graveyard. But I'd have a bunch of extra mana. Well, I guess it's like pretty free to just untap here. No, it definitely did not work. I could have figured that one out. Um, play the Battle Rager. So now I venture in. Let's go get an island. Wait, am I wrong? Hold on. Three, four, seven. Does this actually work? I think it does work. I am the beatdown. That's a fairy seer. They play an island. And another fairy seer. They put two cards on top. They binded my monster. That's not very nice. They'll deal them five, though. We will forge on. Draw. Hmm. Let's snap the fairies here. Untap. Snuff out Fairy Seer. Get in. Let's knock them for eight. Pass the turn. I'm sorry. It's not eight. It's three and then trap in my upkeep. Still getting used to this. So they're on mono blue as well. Another bind the monster. Jeez. Not very nice. So now they go to five. And I've sort of uh, floundered here. I can't play my sneak. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Buying the monster too strong. Now they've stolen the Undercity. They go get a basic out of their deck. And they're holding open Counterspell by the looks of it. Play the sneak, see if it resolves. Pretty sure I've been locked out of this game. Buying the monster, so strong. Bummer, we got crushed by mono blue, and I thought I was ahead there for a little bit. Definitely want the gut shots.
I do wonder if this is a matchup where maybe I take out the spirit guides. Like, let's try to be a little bit less fast but more consistent. Possibly take out a couple of these snaps as well. Let's try this out. On the play. Is this even a keep? No initiative creature. Think we mulligan this. Sure. Get rid of the scary. Turn one ponder. This seems fine. Island pass. Bog pass the turn. Now they play a fairy miscreant where they didn't on the first turn, which is interesting. Draw. Hmm. Attempt to snap their creature. See if they try to spell pierce this, and they do. I will dark ritual and pay. I thought that might have been what was going on there. Play the Lotus Petal. Play the Battle Rager. So now we take the initiative. Go grab our Swamp. So if I'm willing to play Gurmag here, I can... I can play Gurmag. The issue is... I'm two men away from harms for the rest of the game. Or arms of header, my bad. Um, is that worth it? I think I'm just going to play the Gurmag. Pass the turn. Another bind the monster. Not very kind. We will forge on. Draw. Let's get in there. Pass the turn. I'm not going to play my Lotus Petal into a Spell Setter Sprite. Yeah, that play was very obvious. Maybe we'll steal the initiative from me here. And now they get to go grab an island. Very Miss Green's back. Draw. Let's attack. Interesting. So they're willing to lose five life here. Sure. Pass the turn. No need to play into their counter spells if that's the case. They're choosing to scry two rather than to make their spell stutter a three three. What has happened? They played of one mind. Okay, so they drew two cards. Let's attack. They have to block, or else they're dead. Pass the turn. They create a treasure token. They have to find an answer to the Battle Rager right now, or else they're dead. Sure thing. Play an island. And they found Snap. That's a bummer. I know that they have a Spell Stutter in hand. No point in playing this Lotus Petal, I guess. Actually, if I play the Petal this turn, I can... Like, for some reason, if they don't counter this, I can play back-to-back -back Menace Creatures. Okay, they have four cards. The Hacker. Fairy Seer, three cards in hand. Two on top. That's scary. Two cards. Play the Battle Rager. I mean, it's what I'm supposed to do here. And they had the counter spell. Preordain. Alright, they're Hellbent. So they do. They selected. To keep both cards on top. Oh, but the, this shuffles them away. So actually, I get a chance on my turn to potentially win here. Or so I believe. Alright, is your one card better than my Explorer? 
Under Dark Explorer. They found another counter spell. Wow. We're dead. For what it's worth, for being the most uh, bannable deck in the format, I am currently 0 and 2. Not great. Let's see if we can come back in match number 3. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three. Let's see if we can bounce back. I mean, O2 is not the start that I saw myself with. We'll try this out. Okay, turn one Pete Bog, pass the turn. This is a turn three Battle Rager into possible turn four Explorer. So a little bit slower than our other draws this league. And they have a turn one Monastery Swiss Spear. So we're facing red. I've been told that burn is a tough matchup for this deck. I'll have to believe it because, well, this is my first time playing the deck. So, yikes. Pass the turn. Reckless Impulse. You've got it. Fire Blast and another Reckless Impulse. Okay. 17. Draw. Let's play the Battle Rager. Let's shrink that up a little bit. Okay, so we take the initiative and now we go get a land out of our deck. Grab the island, pass the turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they have a third land. If they so choose, they can fire blast my battle rager. Searing blaze. Galvanic blast. What? Do you have an artifact sump theme in here? They get to steal the initiative now. And they get to get a mountain out of their library. I'm at six already. Pretty close to death. Let's preordain. Snuff out's not what I'm looking for here, so let's get rid of these. Pitch the spirit guide. Explore. Take the initiative back. My creature gets larger. Let's make sure. What does Lost Well do again? Scry to. Yeah, we don't necessarily need a scry to here. We'll forge. Pass. We know that they have a mountain in hand, so they just need a few burn spells and I'm dead. Synthesizer, sure thing. They reveal another mountain. Chromatic star. That galvanic blast is making more sense now. Dark Ritual off the top rope. Let's see it. They lose 5. They go to 15. And draw. Okay, so let's swing for 7. They can't block. They go to 8. Play another Battle Rager. And I'll draw a card. The Archive. It's weird. Uh, I think the archive on um, the aggressive path is actually my least favorite one. Not that drawing a card is bad or anything, but all the other modes here shorten my opponent's life total. They have five cards in hand. I'm at six life. Can you kill me? They finally play a Greed Furnace. They Lightning Bolt my Explorer. Lava Dart. So they're one damage short of lethal. I mean, I will block. 
We knew that this was a safe block because if our opponent had lethal or another damage to do, they could have just killed me instead, and they didn't do that. This creature is a 1 4. Let's take the Explorer because it gets the counters on it from this. And it gains Hexproof. We'll search our deck for another land. Draw for turn. Hmm. Let's preordain. I think we want the snap. Let's bounce the Swift Spear. Untap, untap. Pitch the Spirit Guide. Play the Explorer. We will forge. Put it on the Battle Rager. Hiya. Pass. They play another mountain. So they have Monastery Swiss Spear and two unknown cards. They've conceded, so we've won a game. That's good. Let's see if we can chain together two wins in a row in one match. All right, Dispels, I think we're interested in. Hydroblasts, we're definitely interested in Unexpected Fangs. I don't think we want the Arms of Hadar. So we're at 69 cards in our deck. I think we're supposed to board out Snuff Outs here. Just paying for life against the burn deck isn't super wise. And now we're at 65. I wonder if you just board out blue cards. Like, you just want to be the most effective combo deck you can. 61. Let's just try this, I guess. Actually, I'm going to board down to two Dispel. Or only board in two Dispel. I'm not sure if that card is actually this good in the matchup, but just like countering Lightning Bolt or Fire Blast or whatever has got to be fine. I just don't know how many of them we actually want to draw. Interesting. If I can draw Black Source, this hand is very good. I'm going to keep it. I'll draw a black source. Don't worry about it. It will be just fine. Just fine. Come on. Turn one monastery Swiss spear. I have two draw steps. We can do it. Pass the turn. Reckless impulse once again. Synthesizer Swiss spear. We will take the damage. Draw. Ponder. Well, that's a very fast shuffle. Pick up an island. So I can snap into the Underdark Explorer, but I can't protect it. Should I just wait then? So this is three, four, five, and I get a basic, but I can't use it. Hmm. All right, I'm going to play a little conservatively here. I'm just going to kill the Swift Spear. Pass the turn. They played the Swift Spear. I imagine that they play the uh, the egg here, the Synthesizer. It will trigger. What's your top card? Could also Rebirth. Do you have a Mountain in hand? They do. Okay, so that changes things a little bit. Pyroblast is their top card. And we're at 14. Draw. Hmm. It actually causes me to lose a mana. I do not love the spot that I'm in at the moment. All right, change a game plan. We're going to play the sneak. Let's go get a Swamp. I'm going to bounce a Goblin token here. And tap and tap. Pass the turn. I'm dead to a Pyroblast that they just revealed, but I think that this is my best line, using the unexpected fangs to keep my sneak alive. Synthesizer, sure thing. They reveal a Mountain. Four cards. 
Searing Blaze, okay. Chain Lightning targeting me. I'm at eight. Block. Before damage, unexpected fangs. So if they have a fire blast, I go to one. This just isn't good enough, I don't think. Well, I guess I can play an angler. So now I go to... Uh, yeah, I really needed the counters first. So I'm at seven. They have three cards. We'll make our sneak a little bit larger. Am I supposed to bluff having something? Probably not, just in case I draw the other angler. Pass the turn. Another swift spear, three cards in hand. Reckless impulse. Could all the rebirth and a chromatic star. They play the rebirth. Yeah. So they can deal me five this turn, putting me to two. And then I gain four. So the initiative might actually kill me on their next turn. Hmm. Draw. I mean, I have to take it back here, but then I'm dead. Yeah, it was just too slow. What does Arena do? Goad target creature. Let's figure out what goad does, because I'm definitely not winning this. We will goad their Swiss beer. Attacks each combat of Fable, attacks a player other than Brian Cook of Fable. I was correct, it is a do-nothing mechanic. Okay, we cannot win this game due to the trap aspect of the Undercity, so we will go to game three. Womp womp. So they are on the Goblin Token version. Does that mean we want the Arms of Hadar? I mean, I kind of think we might get rid of this... Uh, Dispel. Although Dispel does counter Pyroblast, I don't know. No, we definitely want Snap, I think. Can maybe take out Ponder? Just be like an all in turbo deck? Let's do it. No sculpting, all raw power. See if I can actually get a match win here. On the play. No black source, unfortunately. This will be a turn one battle rager. Damn. This is a turn two battle rager. I guess we keep this. Bottom of peep bog. Pass the turn. Mountain. Into Swiss beer. We'll never get hold of that. Okay, so Spirit Guide into the Rager. Take the initiative. All right, now we go get an island past that turn. Okay. Chrome Star. I mean, it's pretty free for them to attack here. I can't kill their creatures. They take the initiative and they go get a mountain out of their deck. Okay, so we get the initiative back. Let's forge. I can't make five mana with the snap this turn because we've already tapped this peat bog once. I guess I just have to save it to bounce a creature. Kind of underwhelming. All right, so the synthesizer happens. Chain lightning. Prowess. Imagine they're targeting me, and they are. They also would put me to 14. Can, uh, can I copy that? No. So this would put me to 8. So if I bounce this, then they have a blocker on their turn. 
I don't know. We have Pyroblast, so now I'm taking even more damage. Yeah, I'm just super dead. I think I have to draw, like, exactly Fangs here, and then I'm still dead. Alright, well, I have to steal back the initiative. Arena does... Goading. Yeah, that's the one that sucks. So we'll trap. They lose 5, they go to 11. Bounce their large creature. Untap. Untap. Play this. We need to go into the archives, but I'm probably just dead here. So all they need to do is play their Swiss Spear and attack for 2. I can only block 1, and then the Undercity kills me. Sure, that'll also do. They add a red mana with Chromatic Star. Kadaltha Rebirth. Okay. I'm at three. So the Undercity doesn't even matter that it would kill me here. They just also have lethal damage. And I am 0-3. I am less and less convinced that this deck is a nuisance that must be banned out of the format, at least right now. Let's see how the final two matches go. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, keep. Uh-oh. I don't like that as a sign. Preordain. Okay, I do like a turn one Battle Rager a little bit more, though. Dark Ritual. So you mean Spirit Guide. Bring in the battle. Let's go get that basic swamp past the turn. Reckless Impulse, okay. We will forge. Draw. Get in there. Pass the turn. They sacrifice the Chromatic Star. Swift Spear. Chain Lightning is coming at me. Let's bounce this back to their hand. Untap, untap. Sure thing. All right, so now we venture a little bit deeper and we get to make our opponent lose five life with the initiative trap. It's a trap. Draw. Play the bog. That way, this way, next turn we can play the explorer. And their opponent's already at nine. That's a Monastery Swift Spear. We'll dare an Epicure. They have two cards. Well, I'm going to put myself to 11. All right, now we go to the archives. So we get to draw an extra card. Attack for three. This puts them to six. Underdark Explorer, and we get to go to the Throne of the Dead 3, which is the look at the top 10 ability. I think we take another Battle Rager here. Just because if they choose to block it, they lose 5, which is, should just end the game, and it's got a big old butt. Grab a Swamp. They're going to use a Blood Token. They kill my Explorer. Not very nice. I am a fan of them not bolting my face, though. Huge fan. Another Voldaren Epicure. We will forge on. Draw for turn, snuff out. Let's preordain, see if I can find another creature with uh, Undercity here. 
bottom both of these. Actually, am I supposed to keep the ritual? I think I am. Ponder. How about that? Combat. And they lava dart themselves. Very nice. Okay, so we've done the thing we've done a couple times now, which is win game one. I've not won a post board game, I believe. All right, so let's do the red plan again. Take out the snuff outs. Take out the ponders. At 63 cards. Take out preordains. Maybe I leave one preordain or one ponder or whatever. But I think that this is the game plan. As so much as I'd love to keep this, I think I'm supposed to mulligan it. Sure. Get rid of the scary, I believe. Sounds actually pretty good. We have turn one battle rager into turn two snap. Maybe even turn two Gurmag. Probably not though. I haven't done the math. Black Source, Dark Ritual, Battle Rager. Venture into that Undercity. Go grab the Swamp. Oh yeah, I'm not even close to playing Grimag Angler. Lightning Bolt. Uh-oh. They're going for the Rager. They got it. So I'll take three and they gain control of the Undercity. I am in trouble. Pass. What? I think I need that. Actually, I don't. Let's kill the Swiss Spear. Draw. So what stinks here is that the Undercity is going to deal me five on their turn. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. So I'm going to go to nine. Chromatic star. Kadaltha rebirth. Great way of ensuring that they have the undercity. Ay ay ay! What a rip! That was good. Bounce a goblin token. Untap. Get in there. All right, let's race. Six six life linker. Let's go. They get to draw a card here. I don't actually know if a six six life linker is good enough to keep me in this game. It might not be because it looks like they have established control of the undercity, and I might not be able to beat that. Really? I guess they're guaranteed to get it back on their turn. So this is going to make my Gurmag into an 8-8. Eight eight, which makes it even more difficult to answer. Pass the turn. Yeah, you have a Synthesizer. So they can play Mountain. Rebirth. Well, I'll be countering that. Counter the Kodaltha Rebirth. They have two cards in hand. If they have their own Pyroblast, and they do. Ah, that's brutal. I cannot copy the Chain Lightning. Uh, I go to one? Am I seeing this right? Wow. They're actually going to beat my Gurmag Angler. That's impressive. Yeah, I mean, I'm at nine, but I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. I'm going to lose with an 8-8 lifelinker. So that's seven damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Wow. No blocks. Draw. I mean, they're going to Gav Blast me before I can deal damage. Now they cast it. And I am dead. 
What? They're targeting their own creature? That makes no sense. Um, did they forget that I'm at two? Okay, I'm just going to pick this up. I can't believe I lost the game with an 8-8 lifelinking creature versus burn. That was insane. Submit. Okay, this seems fine. I'm really struggling to win here. Like, I was told that this deck was just, like, by far the best deck in the format. Like, nothing beats it. And I feel like I'm just being bullied this entire league. Alright, another sneak. Play the Battle Rager. We'll go grab a Swamp. Pass the turn. Okay. It is bolt me. That was it, huh? Okay. Take a draw. I'm just going to play another Battle Rager. Trap. You lose five. Get in there. Hiya. They've destroyed my land. You draw a card. Cure mag. And another swamp. Unexpected fangs. No point in swinging for one damage in case they like try to steal the undercity. Pass the turn. Rebirth. Yep. Monastery swift spear. We get to go to the final. Uh, room in the city. And our opponent can see to the game. <sighs> we won a match. How about that? We are 4 1. Let's see if we can get the last one. I'm sorry. We are. Why, why, why would I say 4 1? We are 1 and 3. That made no sense. No sense at all. 1 and 3. Round 5 coming up. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Hey there, the fifth and final round with Pauper Initiative, Turbo Initiative. Run the play. This hand stinks. We will mulligan. Turn. No, this is not a turn one. Damn. Am I supposed to keep this anyway? Just like pedal preordained looking for a dark ritual or a soul land? I think that's the line here. Come on, dark ritual. That's the one I actually want. Preordained. I guess I'll take a soul land. Pass the turn. Island. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that one bit. Dark Ritual. Under Dark Explorer. Triggers. Grab an island. Pass the turn. Okay, they have their own dark ritual. Is this the mirror? Ooh, it is the mirror. And I bought him to snap like a dummy. They have stolen the initiative. Preordain. Keep the battle rager. Hiya. So I will get the initiative back. My creature then gets larger. And I'm going to snuff out now. Pass the turn. And they just conceded. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah, I'll take free ones. Do we actually change anything for the mirror match? Maybe Unexpected Fangs? Like, I imagine that's actually a pretty good card in the mirror. 
I could also see Dispel being pretty good at countering opposing removal. And I imagine Gurmag's actually not very good, so we'll get rid of those. Let's submit this. Game 2 on the draw. I think we have to mulligan that. Am I supposed to keep this? There's hope for a Hail Mary Swamp. Okay, I mean, I'm probably losing this game, but let's see what happens. Ice Tunnels. They're playing a very slow list. Draw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Augurable loss. So they're on, like, the Delver rebuild. Please give me a Swamp. Draw. Let's go to game three instead. That was not good. Should have been more disciplined. Should have just mulliganed. If that's the build they're on, do I still want to be on Dispels? I think so. I think we just want to protect our stuff. Maybe we don't want to be on Unexpected Fangs, though. I'm not sure. That's oh, too late. It's not going to let me change it. Okay. Cannot keep. I am allowed to keep this, but it's not ideal. Ponder. Pass the turn. This hand's a little slow. Play the peat bog, pass the turn. And step brainstorm. Land number two. Dark ritual. The sneak. They pick up an island. Draw. So if I play snap right now, we create one mana and then three mana, so that's four. It's not quite enough. So I'm going to burn a whole bunch of mana here. I'm going to snap the sneak. Untap. Untap. So I'm going to lose my peat bog here. Play the explorer and I can get a swamp. Pass the turn. I'm pretty far away from being able to cast another explorer. I guess it's like... Okay, that's not necessarily true. I have four mana. So like a Dark Ritual, a Lotus Petal, Assuming Spirit Guide, but I just feel like I'm really light on mana because the third one I'm probably never casting. They play a Ponder. They do not shuffle. Dark Ritual. Battle Rager. They put counters on their creature, okay. I guess this is the game we're playing. Sneak. Steal back the initiative. We will forge as well. Get in for seven. Pass the turn. I have been snuffed out of the competition. No! Oh, wow. I think we just lost this. I think we just lost this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to come back from that. Pass the turn. Augur of Bull Loss. Yeah, now they have counter spell up too. Okay. So I can play the Explorer, but it just we know that our opponent has Counterspell here. It doesn't actually matter. Pass the turn. And now our opponent goes to Throne of the Dead 3. They put two on the bottom with Preordain. I'm going to save them some time. It is literally impossible for me to win this. So uh, we finished this league 1 and 4, and I did not get my entry fee back. With the deck that was so good, or is so good, that it needs to be banned out of the format according to Twitter and Reddit and, you know, a bunch of other community spaces. I don't agree. I'm sorry. This deck does not need to be banned out of the format. 
I felt like I was playing behind a bunch of this league. I think that we've already started to see the format shift around this deck. We saw a bunch of the decks going wide, so we're in stage two. Decks are adapting to the best deck in the format. So now this deck needs to figure out how to adapt to people going wide. If that's copies of main deck, Arms of Hadar, maybe. I don't know what the actual answer is, at least for now. But I'm not convinced that this thing is so good that it needs to be banned immediately. I understand some of you may not agree with me. That's just fine. I think that this is within the power level of the format. It doesn't seem to be better than Affinity to me. My two cents. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.